When Sarah first saw her newborn daughter, Emma, she felt a mix of overwhelming love and unexpected concern. Emma was born with a cleft lip, a condition that affects one in 700 babies worldwide. If you've never heard of cleft lip or wondered what it means for families, today I'm sharing the research behind this common birth condition and the incredible advances in treatment that give families like Sarah's real hope. Cleft lip occurs when the tissues that form the upper lip don't join completely during early pregnancy. It can happen on one or both sides of the lip and may extend into the gum line and palate. Despite affecting over 4,000 babies annually in the United States alone, many people don't understand what cleft lip actually is or how effectively it can be treated. This lack of awareness can lead to unnecessary worry for new parents and social challenges for children as they grow. Medical research shows that with proper care, children with cleft lip can live completely normal, healthy lives. Cleft lip develops between the fourth and seventh weeks of pregnancy when facial structures are forming. Harvard Medical School research shows that while genetics play a role, most cases occur randomly without any family history. The condition varies in severity. Some children have a small notch in the lip, while others have a complete separation that extends to the nose. Johns Hopkins Children's Center studies indicate that about 25% of cleft lips also involve the palate, the roof of the mouth. What's important for parents to understand is that cleft lip is not caused by anything they did or didn't do during pregnancy. It's a developmental variation that occurs naturally during fetal formation. Modern treatment for cleft lip has transformed dramatically over the past decades. Children's Hospital of Philadelphia research shows that surgical repair typically begins around three to six months of age when babies are strong enough for surgery. The treatment timeline is well established. Initial lip repair happens in the first year, with additional procedures to refine results as the child grows. Speech therapy may be needed if the palate is also affected. Dental care helps ensure proper tooth development and alignment. Stanford Children's Hospital data demonstrates that 95% of children who receive comprehensive cleft care achieve excellent functional and cosmetic outcomes. Most children with repaired cleft lips are indistinguishable from their peers by school age. Sarah's daughter, Emma, had her first surgery at four months old. The surgical team included plastic surgeons, speech therapists, and pediatric dentists working together. By Emma's first birthday, her lip repair was healing beautifully. At age three, Emma speaks clearly and confidently. Now at five, she's starting kindergarten with no limitations from her early cleft lip. Sarah says the hardest part was the initial uncertainty and worry. Once they connected with their cleft care team and understood the treatment plan, the family felt empowered and hopeful about Emma's future. Families dealing with cleft lip aren't alone. The Cleft Palate Foundation provides comprehensive resources, connecting families with medical specialists and support networks. Early intervention is key. Babies with cleft lip may need special feeding techniques initially but lactation consultants trained in cleft care can provide guidance. Many babies successfully breastfeed or use specialized bottles. Insurance typically covers cleft care because it's considered a medical necessity, not cosmetic surgery. The Children's Health Insurance Program and most private insurers provide coverage for the multi-year treatment process. Schools and communities play important roles too. Education about cleft conditions helps create inclusive environments where children feel accepted and supported. If you know a family affected by cleft lip, your understanding and support matter. Children with cleft conditions benefit from inclusive communities that see beyond physical differences. For new parents receiving a cleft diagnosis, remember that this condition is highly treatable with excellent outcomes. Connect with cleft care specialists early, join support groups, and know that your child can achieve anything they set their mind to. What questions do you have about cleft lip or supporting families in your community? Share in the comments. Your awareness helps create a more understanding world. If this information was helpful, please subscribe to Clinical Discovery for more evidence-based health education that builds understanding and empowers communities.